Hi, my name is Daryl Howard. I am 19 years old. I just graduated from Newark Catholic in 2020, um, and I am about to start my second year as a full-time missionary at Damascus Catholic Mission Campus. So I grew up going to Catholic Youth Summer Camp uh, for seven years. So I really grew up in the culture that Damascus made um, in Catholic Youth Summer Camp I loved. And I knew my freshman year of high school that I wanted to be missionary. Um, I didn't know if it would be with Damascus or with what, but I knew that the Lord was calling me to mission. And my junior year, I actually served as a missionary over the summer at Catholic Youth Summer Camp. Um, and I just fell in love with the mission of Damascus. I fell in love with what they did and with uh, the missionaries and just everything about Damascus I loved. And I just knew that that's where the Lord was calling me. Um, so I came as a full-time missionary uh, right out of high school. And I just finished my first year there and I'm about to start my second year. Um, and it's just amazing what the Lord is doing there. Like he is moving so powerfully and revival is happening. Like the change that we see in the kids when they come in and when they leave is like radical and it doesn't like it doesn't make sense. Um, but I know like for me, my personal mission there, um, I just know in my own life, the biggest thing for me has been finding my identity in Jesus and not in what the world says. And so it's been like so cool to be able to like show like the young people that come to Damascus, like you don't have to strive, you don't have to grasp, you don't have to do anything. Like you're enough as you are and the Lord loves you. And like, listen to what he says because it's so much more important than what anyone else could ever say. Um, and it's just, yeah, it's just been so cool to see the Lord like come in and move and change people's lives, um, both through our, like our young people ministry and also through like our adult ministry. Um, the Lord is just doing so much and it is such an honor to be able to be on mission there, to be um, his hands and feet, to do his work. Um, which is hard sometimes, but really fun and worth it and just beautiful the way like the Lord is actually moving there. Um, so yeah, with that being said, any way that you can support us um, and support me, um, whether that's prayerfully, please pray for me. <laughs> I could use all the prayers, um, but also financially, if you feel called to give in that way, um, yeah, please like discern, pray about it. Um, talk to your family about it, but anything that you have to give, um, I'm giving my yes to be on mission physically, and your yes to mission could be financially. So just pray about it and think about it. Um, but yeah, please pray for me. That is the biggest thing you could do, and pray that I would just continue to do what the Lord wants. Um, after this year, I'm going to be discerning what the Lord has for me, um, if He wants me to stay there, or if He wants me to go to school, or um, yeah, whatever he has for me. So, um, yeah, continue to pray for me and thank you for your support um, when I come home. <laughs> it's so beautiful having a community like St. Francis to come home to um, where everyone is actually so authentic and like wants to know and like cares about the mission. They care, like you care about my heart. And I'm just so thankful to have a home like St. Francis um, to be able to come back to because not everyone has such a great parish and such a great like, community back home. So, Thank you. Thank you for your yes. Thank you for supporting me perfectly. And um, you're my prayers. <laughs>